Okay, this is good. Oh, I'm not. I've never made another right before. Excuse me, I'm literally walking away from you. Gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Stop, dude. Why? I'm gonna stand here. Okay. guys it's audrey and today i am back on the minecraft realm because and i'm by myself i'm sorry i need to fix my my mouse cord i just dropped a bunch of papers on the ground so i regret that decision immediately but i'm by myself today because we're gonna be doing two things one well, let me show you guys really quick wrong chest this one i have 32 netherite scrap which is essentially i think eight netherite ingots and so, point is, I think it's about time we make some some netherite armor, at least. Um, and I might make a diamond sword, too, to make into a netherite sword, because those can be so OP. Um, yeah. Point is, is we're going to be doing that for sure. That's the first thing we're going to do while we're here at my house, because then we're going to be going all over the realm. For those of you who want, like, a tour, who maybe haven't seen all the videos, maybe just... I don't know, even I need an update of some of the areas because there's been a lot of work off camera and I obviously, obviously not every time or every time I record, I don't always see every single part of the, dude, oh my God. I don't always see every single part of the realm. And so some parts we see all the time. Like you see spawn all the time. You see my dad's area and my brother's area all the time. But some areas like Chloe's, for example, she's been working on it, but we haven't we haven't gotten an update in a little bit. So we're going to walk around and we're going to look around and we're going to see how it has all progressed. So first of all, first of all, we need to make some another. I've never done this before, so I'm going to just hope I'm doing this correctly. Um, I'm going to put away some of my wood and stuff, though. I'm not going to need any of this. Um, and then I'm also gonna put away some of this, this stuff here. I'll sort through it at a different time. I'll sort through it at a different time. I also have this banner. I don't know why I took this down. Let's just stay there for now. Um, so we need, I think we need the scrap, but we also need gold. Because I think it's four scrap and four gold make an ingot. So let me see if I'm doing this correctly. We go like this. Yep, we can make eight. And then... Very nice, very nice. And then, um, oh, and this will be this will be kind of part of the tour of my house, by the way. Real quick, let's go ahead and start the tour. Here's my house. <laughs> I might make another house at some point because obviously this one's cute, but I need an area for my pets to roam around and feel comfy, like my horse. My horse. I feel so bad for my horse. I still need to rescue my llama, and my llama needs to be able to like hang out, not trapped in a house. Here's my little kind of kitchen area. I also smell ores in here sometimes because I I only just set up my furnace room, which I'll show you guys in a second. I've got seeds and flowers and stuff and plants. It's kind of laggy. Oh my goodness, but yeah, this is just a little. It's kind of it's kind of dumb looking, <laughs> but it's also kind of cute, and so I've left it for now. Um, don't really know what this room is. It's kind of my bedroom. That's where I tie up my animals sometimes because they're literally on the counter as we're speaking. Um, but then here's my armor from the orphan role play. That was so fun. That was really fun. Uh, and then here's my mini chest room just for some of like throw in some random drops and stuff like that. Here's all my good stuff, you know, just quick chests that I use all the time. If you come down here, if you come down here. <laughs> I worked really hard on this last night. Uh, I have yet to cure these guys just yet, but I have two zombie villagers down here now that I need to cure and I'm gonna have just like personal trading like at the ready. So one might be a Fletcher so I can grind emeralds real quick. One of them might be like a specific enchantment that I use all the time. I highly doubt it though because I already have like mending and unbreaking all my village. So we'll have to, I'm gonna look through the professions. But um, here's, I'm pretty sure there's 54 chests in total that were used here. And then I have more over here that I'm gonna use for brewing, potion making. I'm gonna start stocking up on, on potions. I really need to. 
I really need to. With some of the things my brother has told me that he wants to do, oh gosh. Um, but see, this is why I started the tour because this still needs to be filled up with lava, ignore that. I like that it looks like a mouth. <laughs> You know, like here's two and then anyways, um, this is like my furnace room. I have 12 furnaces in here, but this is why I came down here because in order to make it netherite, we have to add, we have to do it in this. What is this called again? Hold on. Smithing table. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. And so what we do is we put it in and then we add the ingot. Oh. <gasps> Oh, dang, dude, dang. Oh. oh. <laughs> I've never made nethery before. This is so exciting. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> this is the last one. I did it, bros, 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 bros. What? I need to get outside and shaders in this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've never done that before. Yeah! Look at me go. Ooh! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Alright. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, and then really quick, just to complete the tour. Because my house isn't super huge, as you guys can see. If there's a slime down here, I'm going to freak out. Why do I hear a zombie? Was that a zombie villager? Was that the zombie villager? No! There's a zombie in somewhere in there. In the walls! Okay, I don't know why, but here is... Here's my bee room. My bee room. I have lots of wheat growing in here if I ever decide I want some wheat. I just also love the way wheat looks, especially with this texture pack. And I love bees so much. They're my favorite mobs besides bats. And so, of course, I had to find as many bee nests as I could and bring them into my basement where I can hog them and look at them every day and love them and give them all sorts of flowers in a safe environment where they won't die. There he goes. <sighs> Just look how, oh, they're so cute. Anyway, so that's my house. We're gonna ignore the zombie noises we're hearing, especially since we have netherite armor. And we're gonna go on a tour. We're gonna finish the tour. Um, so yeah, that's my basement. I'm so happy that's basically completed now. That is basically my house is done, except for whatever this room is. I still kind of need a bedroom. Don't know if this is a bedroom or not. I was going to make this a living room, so I might make it into a living room and... Oh, yes. Yes. S sleep. S sleep. Please. 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 That was a mess. And then we will... Then we oh, I get a full suit of netherite armor. <laughs> yes. So good. So good. Is my mom going to go to bed? Mommy, don't you sleep, please? Bruh. <laughs> There's an end. What the heck? She's got an enderman in her room? Kill it. You can do it. Do it. Anyways, then I think we'll go to spawn and then we'll work out from there. We'll probably show my dad and my brother's area and then we'll go to my mom's and we'll go to Sammy's and we'll go to Andrea's real briefly. Don't know what she's done. What is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we finally slept. Let's go ahead and we're, I know, I know technically we're really close to the village and so I should probably just go show you guys that right now. But no, <gasps> you know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm gonna do this all in shaders. This might be a terrible idea because Realms has been a little bit laggy recently, but it hasn't been today. Oh, this is a great idea. Oh, this is a great idea. So yes, we're done with my house. There's not much to see. Oh, I look so good in shaders and other right armor. Yes. Okay, so my house, we don't need shaders on for inside the house. Um, let's follow the path back to spawn. Oh my gosh. I love this shader so much. I love having shaders on. Look how beautiful. 
my lovely forest. I have some plans to build some really big things nearby, using that mountain too, especially. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, cross this really poorly built bridge. I'll make it cooler in the future, I promise. Maybe I'll do like, where it like has pillars going up. I don't even know, I'll figure it out. There's a big old tree. There's my mom's house through the trees over there. I'm gonna walk everywhere. I like the idea of walking everywhere. There's um, my dad's pagoda. I'm sure he's over there working on it right now. There's my mom's house. We're not gonna show it just yet. We're gonna go to spawn first, because of course, spawn is where you start out, you know? That's, that's where you gotta begin. I really need to upgrade. I need to upgrade the lodge, because it's kind of it's kind of sad to look at. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay. I'm gonna run a little bit, just because this is a long pathway. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, speed running it, speed running it. Um, also, ignore the pigmen. We're gonna pretend those guys aren't even there. Oh, it's developed so much recently. Okay, no, I'm not gonna comment on things we haven't looked at yet. Not part of the tour yet. Not part of the tour yet. We're going one at a time. Okay. Technically, you spawn behind the lodge, but we're gonna start right here in the front because, you know, might as well. <sighs> Here's the spawn lodge. My ho my my horse, my skeleton horse. There's a dirt block in here. My skeleton horse is still in here. Um, this is exactly why I need to make like some sort of a a ranch or something nearby for my llamas and my horses. And then upstairs, of course, we've got the beds. I'm just gonna show that real briefly because it doesn't really matter. And you guys are all familiar with it by now. But here's the lodge. Just a safe little place for when you start up and uh, as a special place in my heart because I stressed out so much trying to build it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, spawn lodge. Then you come over here. Here's a little spawn area. I'm probably gonna make this look a lot better in the future, but obviously for now we've got our rules. Very basic, but you know, obviously needed. <laughs> Knowing some of the people on this realm, we've got our members. And we've got any announcements. Right now we still have the one up from the Thanksgiving feast. I'll probably keep it up. And then once we run out of room, you know, start like like backtracking, you know. It'll be neat. And then we of course have the little spawn bell. We have the portal over there. And then we have, which we'll go over there in a second. I'll really briefly show Andrea's area, I think, first. Just because it's right there. And I, I don't know how much she's worked on it because she isn't able to get on a whole lot. But then we have the community garden. Of course, I use this all the time. Even though I have like my own garden technically with all the wheat and stuff, I use this all the time. And then of course we have the little community community pens, which everyone uses the cow pen. I'm very glad I made this because I use it, my mom uses it, my whole family uses it. And then I just recently dyed all the sheep, of course. Um, let's go really quick before we look at the marketplace. No, no, no. Let's look at the marketplace real quick because this is still technically part of spawn. I added in these uh, lamp posts just the other day. I don't know if I've shown them on video yet, but um, they're they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. It'll look a lot better once it's more filled in. We need some buildings in here and stuff like that. But um, yeah, and then we have the post office, of course. There's my brother's mafia sign up book. How dare he? And then of course we have the post office. Looks like Chloe has some mail. Looks like, oh, I have some mail. You know what, let's check that. It's not, I just forgot to turn off my, my thing. I was like, I swear I just checked my mailbox the other day. Um, but this isn't fully completed just yet because we might get a villager in here. I should have, I literally had a zombie villager here at spawn that I took all the way to my house the other night. I could have brought him in here. <gasps> ah, it's okay. We'll figure it out eventually. But, so we have some things we need to add in. If you have any tips, by the way, I'm terrible at building, so please. Please give me any building tips in the comment section below. Um, I definitely want to add some stuff in there. I just don't know what would even be added in a post office. Um, we'll go over here real quick. We have um, Maggie's little potion stand right here. Let's follow the path. Zoop. It's very cute, very precious. Uh, we haven't really figured out, we're, we're mostly just setting up buildings right now. We haven't quite figured out like currency wise or how we'll be doing those exchanges, but um, I plan to get on that soon, and that's what matters. <laughs> uh, I cleared out actually a lot of the, the trees over there. And so that's new too. We have my brother's stand. I don't know if he's finished with this or not, um, but he's selling ores. 
currently all the chests are indeed empty so i'm gonna assume it's not finished yet and he's selling saplings and so it's very oh i just realized there's a giant <laughs> there's a giant hole in the ceiling so i'm pretty sure it is unfinished uh anyways we go around back we'll go over here here is this is kind of my area right now because no one else has built in this sort of section just yet we have my bakery of course which is still just a little unfinished i have to add a couple little touches but for the most part it is done i just need to add currency and stuff like that um like i have some seeds in there i have a bunch of ingredients and then i've started baking some stuff and then the little area of course and then upstairs but that's for staff only not for you guys not for you guys but yeah i'm very proud of that still i think it turned out really cute and then we have of course I haven't shown this yet, I don't think. I, ha I just finished this up the other night, but um, I made a little flower stand finally. The vines are so annoying. They keep growing the way I don't want them to grow. I need to trim it a little bit, but I have all sorts of little flowers around here. I took some good inspo from some pictures, but then I just like freestyled it. I went, these are the, these are the things I want around here. And so it looks a little messy, but I kind of like that. Come in here, you can work. Hello, welcome to the flower shop. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I just, brought in a bunch of different flowers I found but uh good stuff ah anyways so that is that is the little marketplace right now I can't wait to add more shops and make this even more like bustling there's lots of different ideas I still have at least two more buildings I can make for this area and I am so excited so excited oh my goodness anyway so we're gonna go really quick back here we gotta follow the paths I mean, we're taking it seriously this time. This is a tour. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta follow the paths. We can't, we can't cheat here. We're not actually gonna go in the nether. We're just gonna pass through the portal. Of course, we have Sammy and I's little bench here from like one of the very first episodes. Not actually the first, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, come up here. Let's see. Here's Andrea's house. I think I remember how to get in here. We're gonna check it out really quick because honestly, there's some fish. Why are there tropical fish all the way over here? Now, where is her entrance? Is it right here? I'm assuming it's the, it's gonna be surrounded by kelp. Is this it? Did I find her entrance? Oh, I hope I don't suffocate and die. Oh, I definitely found it. I definitely found it. Oh! <gasps> okay. I'll have you guys know, I helped her with that. I told her you need soul sand to do a, an elevator like that. So she has definitely changed up a little bit since I was last in here. She's got a little farm. It's so cute and tiny. Oh my gosh. Uh, some chest. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Um, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be raiding her chest. It's really cute though. She doesn't have a bedroom or anything. But, but you know, wait, or does she? Oh! <gasps> She does! Okay, I should probably stop, like, invading her room. How do I get out of here? Do I go? Hey! There's one spot without it. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here, please. I'm so glad I have Aqua Affinity on my... On my helmet. and Or, uh, Respiration 3. Sorry. So there's Andrea's house. I actually... I really wanted to check that out because I have not looked at it in a while. Oh, it's about to get dark. We should probably sleep real quick because we still have a lot a lot to look at this is going to be a long video of just me talking about the area so i'm sorry this is a little more boring than usual but i wanted to put it out there just because we've had a lot of updates oh my gosh Otto still has the gravestone of <laughs> when he died in the nether and lost his precious shield um okay let's see oh my mom has a chicken in her library oh okay let's go get in bed let's just go get in bed real quick it will be a good, a good rest. A good rest. Okay, on with the tour, guys. Let's see. So, we looked all around spawn. We looked all around the marketplace. Let's go ahead and, oh, you know what? We're gonna save that whole right side of spawn for the second half. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do this left side first, because there's a lot more over there we gotta look at. So we might as well get this area done first. So over here, it's really empty right now. I have a lot of big plans for this area, but for the, in the meantime, in the meantime, for the moment, we have just this little Thanksgiving table. It's a little bit of a mess still. But it's here from our little Thanksgiving feast. 
there's gonna be a lot more related to this being built in this area in the very near future, actually. There's a wolf over there! So cute! Okay, let's get back on the path. We need to, let's go over to Sammy's area real quick. I have a bridge built over here. It's a little messy over here in the front, oopsies. <laughs> but yeah, so we crossed the bridge, we're over here. This is Sammy's little kind of cottage, her temporary cottage. This isn't where she lives anymore. Um, but we'll see where she lives in just a second. We're not gonna disturb them, but the little foxes we bred so long ago are, st <laughs> are still stuck here. But Sammy and I are gonna work on a fox village very soon, and so that will be fixed. She, one of us accidentally shaved the front of her house. We'll fix that soon. But point is, is here's our little temporary cottage. I think if you go back here somewhere, I don't know where her entrance is for it now, or if she made a path another way. Oh, oh my God, hey, 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 I knew it. I knew it was back here. <gasps> here is the start of her village. It's so cute. I actually haven't been here in a little bit. She, <laughs> that one was also shaved. I love her color theme though. Oh, that's, maybe we should help out with that. Do you need freeing, good sir? Oh, maybe we don't want that fox to escape. Come on out. Come on out. Do you, do you need help? Go on. Go on. Oh, the fox is getting out now too. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. We're gonna just, okay. That's good, that's good. I don't even know if she meant to trap this fox, but we're gonna, we're gonna leave it down here just in case. Okay, eat my food so I don't like die or something. Um, let's look around her village a little bit. She's got some houses. Obviously she has a villager. I no longer recognize that that villager as an actual human being. Um, but she has a couple of little houses and then here's her house. Here's her house. I've only very briefly seen this because I stole iron from her. I know that's against the rules. I will repay her. We we owe each other actually quite a bit because we do a lot for each other. Okay, coming in here. We're gonna just invade her house real quick. Oh my goodness. It's kind of empty right now. <laughs> it's a little empty. I mean, her bedroom is just a bed in the middle of her floor and then a giant hollowed out room, but it's looking really neat. She's got a bunch of glass and a water puddle. I'm not even gonna ask, what is this? Oh, she made a sugarcane farm. Oh, that's so cute. That's actually so smart. Is that a redstone block powering it too? Oh, cute, cute. Oh my goodness. That's so simple too. Easy, easy. Okay, anyway, so cool, cool. I think that's the entirety of her house right now. She has it built so high up, but I have no idea how to get up there. So, you know, I can always do an updated tour in the future. Uh, for now, that is the end of Sammy's area. She's even built like a bit of her wall like out there. I don't really know what's gonna actually be out there, but um, it's fine, it's fine. Now we have to run all the way back to the path because although Maggie's area is right across the lake from Sammy's, uh, I wanna follow the path because we wanna look at Abby's little house real quick. And I don't think it's changed since the first video with her because she has not been able to get on a whole lot. She's very busy. So let's go ahead and go across. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I should probably get a horse sometime. I'm, I'm realizing I kind of need a horse. She, I, okay, you know what, it's fine. It's fine. So this time we go straight on the path and we are brought to Abby's area. This is where I've had to stop because I haven't been able to check in with her and see where I'm allowed to build the path. Her house is, uh, it's kind of sad. But it's okay, it's still, it's livable, and that's what matters, that's what she needed. She's got her little donkey and a horse. Very cute, very cute. Um, but if we come up the hill here, we go across the hill, we will come to Meggie's area. And this is what I really wanted to see recently because she's been adding a lot and watching a lot of videos, doing that whole sort of thing. And so she says she's had a lot been built over here. Let's go through, I'm assuming I just follow this little path here. <gasps> Oh, she's got a little sign. Okay, let's see. The Lunar Gardens Greenhouse, next left, okay. 
Oh, and then her little her little stables is just past the greenhouse. And then Maggie's house is the next. I want to say I thought of the name Maggie. That that nickname I originated that. I did that like a year and a half ago, back in like sophomore, beginning of junior year. It was somewhere around then. Uh, fishing dock and another portal are all right here. So. Let's go ahead, if I go through here, I'm assuming I can get to everything. So here is Meggie's house. She has lots of vines all over it. Oh my goodness. There's her little, her little nether portals right over there. She's got her fishing, fishing dock right here, which is also so cute. I love the use of the campfires. Let's see. I've never, I've never been in her house, like completed. Here's some horsies. I'm assuming those are her personal horses. I don't know how to get in here. That's the only thing I don't know how to do, but... Oh! I'm assuming if you go through this gate. Let's see what's in here. I'm assuming that's to her mine. She has some armor and stuff. I'm, you know what? I should, probably should not be in there. I have not asked permission. I just said I'm going to go invade everyone's houses and do a tour. But uh, let's go ahead and look in her house. <gasps> She's got a little wheat farm. Oh, it's so pretty in here! <gasps> I love when people use vines. It makes me so happy. Oh my goodness, she got some plants. She got a little doggy. Hi, doggy. Do you have a name? No, you don't. Okay, great. Um, some barrels, some chests, some more leaves. Oh, it all looks so good with shaders. Oh my goodness. And she's got a little wheat farm. A little wheat farm in this tree. Oh, and then her swing is right next to the tree too. Let's head out of here. I saw a trap door. I probably could have just fallen through that. But do I care? No. Here's her little swing she built. What's funny is I was on Pinterest and I was like, oh, that's a swing. Oh my gosh, I gotta go check out Maggie's place. That made like no sense, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's a the little swing. Look at, I'm hanging out on it. Isn't that so cute? Maybe I should look this way. Is the lighting better? No, you can't see as much of the tree. Doesn't matter. Out of here. Okay, so this is her little area. And then we go over here. Sorry, I'm off the path. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll just fi find it. It's somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. There's a path right here. Oh, I was right next to it. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's her greenhouse. <laughs> this took a lot of glass. Lunar Gardens greenhouse. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at all the little saplings and the flowers. All the little crops. I'm not gonna look through her chest because I realized a little late that might be, that might not be what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> That's probably not appropriate, but uh, <gasps> so cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I love greenhouses so much, especially ones like this. With all the wood. Okay, now we'll go to her stables. I've looked at this a little bit on camera, but we'll go check it out again. I heard that her horses were escaping. I heard I think I heard that from like Sammy. Or maybe maybe it was Chloe. That they were just like hopping out. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll go see which one she has for adoption. Go in here. Oh, she freaked. She framed the netherite she got from Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's all the different horses. She has a lot of horses in here. And a llama. Oh my gosh. Hello. There's some doors out. There's two in here. So cute. Little donkey. Wow. Hello. I, I like to imagine her just kidnapping them from the wild and being like, I am going to sell you now. Like, okay. <laughs> it makes it a lot funnier. Very cute, very cute. And then there's a little outside area too if you want to take them out. Maybe roam them around for a second. So precious. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. It does look like it's getting a little... Oh, it is definitely... Getting a little... Getting a little dark. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just... We'll speed run... We're gonna speed run to spawn. We're gonna speed run to spawn. Cause I'm not gonna sleep in Meggie's area. If I accidentally die and I'm spawning at Meggie's area, no sir, that will not put me in a good position. So we're just gonna, we're gonna speed run out of here. Good to see an updated version of Meggie's area though. She's been, she's been hard at work and I love it. I love the aesthetic. It makes me so happy. It makes me so, so happy. Cause as you guys can tell from my house, I love like the whole like kind of cottage core, just like really like embracing nature and incorporating yourself into into nature and the whole like ah, soft, so soft. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I say that, but like I swear the way I dress is like the polar opposite, polar opposite aesthetic. 
It's so pretty. Wait, did they say anything in chat? Oh, okay, I'll go again. Oh, and I'm almost to spawn. Let's go, let's go. Get to the lodge, get to the lodge, get to the lodge. Yum. And then we get to start the second half, which there's a lot. There's a lot, you guys. There's a lot. Okay, I'm climbing up to the beds. Bloop. In bed too. Dude. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We'll speed run. We'll speed run through uh, the marketplace. Yum. Yum. Okay, I probably didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, through here, we are gonna go to my dad and my brother's area. First, first we'll go over here because this I know is brand new to you guys. This is like, I think I, I, it might have shown up in the back. I don't know. I don't remember the last thing you guys saw. And so I'll go ahead and start showing this off for now. This is my dad's pagoda he built. He's working on this whole area. Like this bridge, he specifically made it so it would line up with the pagoda. See, see, you see straight through. It lines up perfectly. Let's see what it looks like from the side. <gasps> Ooh. Very nice. I love the red. I don't see like this red wood used a whole lot. I don't actually know what wood this is. It's maybe acacia. That looks really cool. And then it's all covered, but you can see out the sides. And then here's this pagoda, which took him so long. It's a huge build. And it's a huge building for that, for that matter. But, uh, oh, there's a turtle. Oh. Why is it a sword out? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to the pagoda. Um, let's see. I think it's like five. One. This is one story. Two, three, four, five. I think it's five stories. I'm really scared he's gonna like sneak up on me. Okay, we'll go upstairs real quick. We'll look at it all. Cause I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it finished. I the last time I walked in here, there was only this staircase right here. Ooh. Oh, you can go up so high. Look, I could sneak out if I want. Oh, no, I'm right. I can't. I'm stuck in here. Oh. Whoa, and then I didn't even notice the little chandelier. That's so cute. I had never thought about making a chandelier like that. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. Little table. Okay, I need to get down from here. Otherwise, my fear of heights is gonna kick in. Look at that. See how high up we are? Oh my goodness, that's my mom's house. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything in chat. Uh, oh, still need to decorate it. Waiting until this area is more complete. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's still trying to finish up the area around it. And there's more decorating to be done in here, I guess. Jeez. Okay, it feels like really cool already. But that is... That is the pagoda so far. It's almost finished. He's still developing the area though. Very cool, very cool. We'll check out we'll check out stuff in there. In their like, what do they call it? Their village. Maybe their town. Hoya village. Very cool. He's building, I think, a little tea house right here. Okay, let's go on the path. Let's go on the path. Let's go on the path. I should probably be sticking to the path more. Here is their main village town area. This we've seen plenty of times. I run through here all the time. Um, they've got their watchtower right here, of course. I literally just recently, like when I was showing Chloe around, I just went in the watchtower, so I'm gonna skip this for now. But let's go, let's go in the main area of the village first. Of course, they have their little archery section. I spent literally I don't even know how long, 20, 30 minutes trying to get a bullseye on that thing. I did it by the way. I have picture proof that I got a bullseye and it didn't give me the gosh darn achievement right here. And so I searched up and someone did a bug report for it back in June. I have no idea how to get this. I tried so hard. Plain as I'm mad about that, but they have their little archery section. Right here is some little guest houses. They're super cute, I love the wheat. And then, of course, we have their village, which I'm going to show real quick because we talk about this all the time, but don't really look in it a whole lot. It is bustling. There are villagers everywhere. Hello, and some iron golems, and there's cats. I don't know where any cats are right now, but we have seen quite a few. There's a ton of iron golems. The main thing I'm going to show, though, I think is right in here. Yes, and then they have a secret village spot. <laughs> secret. I don't... 
Oh, is this supposed to be happening? I don't know if this guy's supposed to be in here. He's in a profession. Point is, is this is their little secret villager spot because in here are their best enchantments. So you know, or or their best like emerald trade. So this guy right here, he's a Fletcher, so you can grind emeralds from him. Uh, they've got like infinity and stuff. All the like real like mending, all the big ones are locked in here, so you can basically always find the villagers. And what's really smart is right down here. They have just a bunch of sugar cane. I haven't seen this part. Oh, they have a little sugar, little sugar cane farm, just like what we saw in Sammy's area, and a bunch of bamboo growing around here. Very cool, very cool. But behind, the main thing I was gonna look at is right behind all this sugar cane, and they have a ton of doors, which I think is really a really smart way of like getting more villagers to, to breed and to show up without like needing to make. Excuse me. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't freaking close on me. How rude. Anyways, let's just keep going. I think it's a smart way to get more villagers to breed without actually needing to build a ton of homes. Um, let's look through here a little more. I don't really go this direction all that much. Cute little fireplace. That's adorable. Um, we've got a little like animal area. So we've got sheep pen, some a little horse in there. Got a bunch of iron golems spawning out there. Oh no, they're all hurt. They're all hurt. Some llamas. Just a bunch of like little llama and horse pens out in that direction. Obviously then Otto's house. We've gone in there quite a few times, but I'll go check it out again. Um, little cow pen. Of course, everyone needs a cow pen. You know how crucial leather can be. And then we have lots of bamboo around here too. We have like a little blacksmith smithing area. More bamboo, more bamboo. This is the vault. This was in where they originally made their house. Ex can you not? What the? Why did I do that? Uh, so this is where they keep like some ores. Oh, that's not what I'm, that's not. I'll just look on the side. <laughs> that's a lot of diamonds. That is, um, that is a lot of diamonds. Oh my goodness. And then there's their little mine. I'm not gonna fall down there on accident. So let's get out of here. And then this right here is my dad's house. What is this right here? Is this a little mini greenhouse? Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> There's a birdie. Hello, little birdie. I don't, I've never come in here. I don't think I've ever come in here, but it's so cute. I need to make a greenhouse too, honestly. I mean, technically my house kind of is because the whole roof is a garden. I didn't show that in my tour. That's the only thing I miss is right on top of my house is a garden, but I don't very I don't go up there very often because I have a good, a good food supply. Um, Speaking of gardens, here is their garden area. I don't show this on video a lot either. Let's go across this little bridge here. I like to come up here. See, ta-da! They have a nice little wheat field. They have melons, sugar cane, everything you need to grow all in here. They got some bees. Cocoa, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of these really quick actually because I don't have any cocoa beans. I've been meaning to grab some. I didn't grab some when we, when we went to the jungle though. Oopsies, I was very distracted by our role play <laughs> and trying to find pandas, which there was none. I need to go back there because I need to get my llamas to begin with, but I want to connect up the nether portal to our area. But here's their beautiful little garden. I love all the flowers and the bees. Makes me very happy. Obviously, been to this place plenty of times. You guys know the XP farm is just down there. It's not even all that pretty looking, so I'm not gonna show it anyways. But yeah, that is to the XP farm. There's an official path. If you follow this path, you'll get to the XP farm. But I just wanted to show you guys since, I mean, it was right there. This is my dad's house. We, we've gone in here. What the heck just happened? Um, we've gone in here a couple times. He's got a little kitty. Hello. Got a little table. A chandelier. That's a big, that's a big chandelier. That's a big chandelier. He's got some rooms in here. A little chest room. Don't mind me going through all this stuff. And then a little bedroom. A little, a little flower pot. Very nice. Very nice. And I think you can go up here too, but I don't think there's much upstairs. Or up the ladder, sorry. Sorry. It's very cute though. It's decorated very nicely. So that is, that is his house. Uh, this is their chest room. We've gone in here a couple times, you know, let's see. Oh, wow. Wait a second. No, this isn't. Now it's a nether wart farm. Where's their chest room? This is their chest room. You can, we've been in there plenty of times. This is their nether wart farm. That was a lot more nether wart than I was expecting. Oh my goodness. Um, that's to the XP farm as you can see, but here 
We've shown this plenty of times, but I love this area, and so I'm gonna show it again. We're gonna ignore the chicken stuck in the fence. That's a little strange. Here is the enchanting room. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love the little, little cover right here. Some redstone lamps. Oh my goodness. The anvil, all the books in the in the wall. And all the plants and the birds. I love the birds. They're so cute. Yeah, this area is always very nice. And I haven't even, I'm going to make myself an enchanting table as you guys saw from my basement. But, you know, I just haven't gotten around about it yet. Just because they have this area. Why would I, you know? And then of course we have my brother's house, which I'll show really briefly because I've come over here Basically every time I've done some sort of a tour for a new member, but uh, look how pretty. I'm so happy our, our little realm has become like so nice and big. This is my brother's room. It's very bright with shaders because of the carpet. That's, that's just a little concerning. We're gonna just pretend we didn't see that he has like all of his mafia gear framed. Not to mention all the freaking banners. Um, and then of course his trophy room. We just recently saw that though. So, oh my goodness. Maybe I'll sleep in Otto's, I'll sleep in Otto's house. Just to, just cause. Oh, I'm going to bed. Y yes, yes. Sorry, I've chat off <laughs> in bed. There we go. Okay. I have chat off to make it all the more beautiful. All the more. I don't want to distract you guys with my my health bar. Oh, they still don't have any pigs. They still just have pigmen stuck in there. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's get out of their area now. Oh, we are though on the way to Kelly's house because Kelly's is next up on the list. On the way there, I will show you a new part of their area that I have not shown yet because it's a little more out of the way. I, this is where I was going to come back to. That's right. So we're not gonna look at the watchtower because we just looked at that in depth last time when Chloe was added. Um, but if you go just past it, we've got of course the wheat field. We've got little skeleton horse. Hello, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, little baby. And then we've got some more horse stables all along here. But here, here's the new part I wanna show you guys. More wheat field. A little water, water tower thing here. Very cute. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that actually startled me. Hello. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be moving past. I'm gonna check out the turtles now. This is their little turtle exhibit, guys. Look at, they have a lot of turtles and some of them are roaming free now, but of course you gotta keep a couple in here. Is there any eggs? I don't think there's any eggs um, right now. They sometimes do have some, but. Very cute. Oh, look at all the little babies. They got little little fish in their habitat too. Very cute, it's very cute. Precious little turtles. And then it looks like there's a little beach house right here too. I haven't seen a whole lot of this. There's an aquarium right here in the front. Nice coral. Actually, I need to go get some because I want to start a museum soon. I want every type of coral. I want a whole nice aquarium exhibit. A little, a little bedroom, yeah. This is a cute little beach house. I'm assuming this goes, yeah, onto a porch. Whoa, you can see the pagoda very well from here. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and continue on to the tour. So I think that's about it for their area now. This is about where the path ends. We've got a little cow farm. Oh, first we're gonna show my mom's area, actually. From over here, let me make sure. Oh, I didn't mean to screenshot. Wait, Otto's castle? Am I missing something? Oh, his little sand castle. You guys have to see this. <laughs> it's so cute. My brother made a little sand castle. I don't even know how he thought of this, but it's, it's very precious. It's very precious. Okay, now, now we're done with their area. Now, now it's, now it's, we're moving on. <laughs> I gotta show you guys my mom's area. Am I, am I out of, oh, I need to eat. I forgot that. Oh my goodness, and look who it is, it's my mom over there. Is she wearing leather? Oh no, that's netherite. Hi. Yay, hello. Oh. Hi, it's good to see you. I'm gonna look at your area. Here, I'll tell her that. Gonna 
look at your house. Wait, do I have anything to give her? I'll give her a gold. There you go. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's, she didn't take my gold. It's okay. I'll give. I'll offer it to her later. She's got a little cow pen. Little cow pen around here. Very cute. I'm glad she has one. She she needs leather a lot because I think she made like a whole library area. We'll look at it in a second. She's got some bees. Oh, she's breeding them. She's breeding her bees. Oh my. Oh, a baby. Oh my gosh. That was so cute. That, that was so cute. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Ba ba bees. Babies. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I need to hurry up. It's like I'm I'm almost ready for dinner and we're having sushi tonight. Uh here's my mom's house. It looks like she's added a bit since I was last here. She got her chickens roaming around. Lots of eggs. Oh, what is this? I have no idea what's gonna be right here. Oh <laughs> looks like one of her chickens escaped and is swimming in her boat now. Very nice, very nice. Let's check out in her house now. She's going in here too. Here's her little living room. I love the little couch. We get to sit on the, hello. Hi, I don't want to miss anything she's saying. We'll just throw some eggs. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> uh, nothing happened. Oh, don't worry. I think it looks great. I'm gonna bring this baby chicken out. I accidentally created a child. I can't just leave it in our house. That would be disrespectful. <laughs> she didn't ask her to be there. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's look around. So let's go upstairs first, just real quick. Here's her, oh my God. <laughs> she's got a huge bed. Okay, because Chloe and I watched her sleep and now now she's made sure we have, <laughs> we have room. If we ever need a bed, she's got space. She's definitely got space now. And she's got a little, a little porch. It's so cute. And here, it's perfect for like killing monsters. So she has a great view of the area in front of her. Oh wow, actually she has a really good view. Look at that. Oh yeah, the only thing I skipped in their area, like besides the XP farm by the way guys, is they have a whole tree farm right outside of their garden. Uh, that's why there's a giant jungle tree over in a plains. <laughs> but wow, she has a really, really nice view. Oh my goodness, there she is. Nice little backyard too. Okay, now we'll go downstairs real quick. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Right down here. I like that she used slab. Oh, yeah, see? See? She was stealing everyone's cows for a bit. <laughs> and I totally understand why now. She got a lot of books. She got a lot of books. And an enchanting table. Oh, my goodness. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. I love it with shaders, I'll be honest. Oh, my gosh. I want to find a stronghold and explore it with shaders on. And then I'm not going to go down there, but that's her, that's her mine. That's where she's got like caves and stuff. I think part of the way down though, she has a, a chest room. Yep, right here. So further down is her cave, but this is her little chest room. I'm going to, I'm going to turn this back around for her. Oh my gosh. But yeah, she's even got them all labeled. I actually really need to do that in my chest room. That's the only thing I haven't done yet, you guys in that like kind of chest room area besides like actually taking all my stuff out and sorting it into my chest is I need to put item frames to show display which chest is which very cute I love her area it's very it's very cute okay so now next up but not final on the list is going over to Kelly's house this is where it starts getting a little bit tricky because Kelly's house and Chloe's houses don't have paths to them I obviously, thankfully, I know where they are because I help them pick out their areas. But otherwise, it's kind of it's kind of tricky to get to. But they're not they're not super far out. Chloe's or Kelly's is just past uh, my dad and my brother's area, just over here in the swamp a little bit, about halfway through the swamp. And then my area is on the edge of the swamp, and so my area is right over there, ways, and the village. Is right over there and so Kelly's is about the halfway point let's see Zoop. it's very cute too I can't wait to see her area again <laughs> I love it and I want to see what houses she's added 
Okay, so she has a little wall. Very smart. I made a little wall too for my village. You go through here, up and over this big bridge. And then you're in here. Oh, she has she has a little zombie villager trapped in a boat. I love it. I, ha I have the same thing, except in my basement, which is kind of kind of questionable. Okay, so she has her house here. We'll go ahead and look at it a little bit. There's vines all over the place. I love it. I love that people are using vines all over. It makes me so happy. And I love her little, like her little hanging pots. So cute. Oh, have I missed anything in chat? No, I haven't. Okay, good. Um, she's got some doggies. I know she wanted to make like a dog army. <laughs> I don't know if she's still gonna do that. She made a jukebox. <gasps> and she has some music discs. I gave her this one and then she found these two in um, the last video. And here's her bedroom. <gasps> she got a little enchanting table. So cute and that goes out onto our porch. I like her house a lot. It's really unique. And then we come out the door. Oh, look at the sunset. Oh, how nice. She's got a whole farm going out here. Oh my gosh, her bamboo's growing. She's got some horses and a donkey up here. Oh, no. She took down Kermit's elite mansion. That hurts so bad. Something floating, no, that's the water, wow. Oh yeah, down there, down here's the maid cafe. She's told me herself that she hasn't worked on it. I don't think since we since we started building on it, so I'm gonna skip it. But if you guys wanna see the maid cafe and our whole journey making it, definitely, definitely go watch that video. But she took down she took down her original house and made a nice big garden up here. It actually looks really pretty. She's got her cat. She's got a very, very busy farm. And look at this house she made. Oh my goodness. There's her nether portal. The door is questionable. Um, oh, bye, bye. So here's the here's the house she's built. I'm assuming this is for her villager. Wow, it's fancy. Dang, look at this. Oh, the little bedroom. Oh, maybe this is her house. Maybe she's made herself a second house in her in her little area. I have no idea, but it's so cute. And the fence being used everywhere. Um, I wanna make sure, I don't know if my mom wants to sleep or not, but oh my goodness, look how cute. So that I think is essentially Kelly's whole area. It's very precious and very, very unique. She has like a whole different way of doing her, her builds and her areas and it's, I love it so much. The, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna sleep really quick because, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to try and navigate the swamp in the dark, but the village is literally just around this hill. So let's go sleep in Kelly's bed real quick. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, in bed, thank you. Yes, okay. Now we don't have to go in the swamp in the dark. Oh my goodness, thank gosh. I would have cried. Just kidding, I wouldn't have, but... Oh, that's not disturbing. Maybe we should give it a sec. Pew. Oh, I killed the spider. <laughs> okay, moving on. That is it for Kelly's area. Where am I? We could just go, let's just go this way. It's literally, the village is right here. We'll see it load in a second. I gotta do some swimming. I need to get depth strider so I swim and walk in water a lot faster. See, can we see my area from here yet? There's my mom's house. I think mine is literally right over there. I'm not quite sure though. I don't usually come over to Kelly's area all that often. Here it is though, here's a village. Ta-da! Yay, it looks really crummy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you guys right now. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. <laughs> I have yet to build any more houses. I am going to soon. That is kind of like lower, a lot lower on my list though. Um, but I have like a temporary sucky looking wall just to keep out mobs for now. But otherwise this village has stayed exactly the same, but we do have golems spawning now. I have officially have golems spawning in. Isn't that cute? I've been having them breed. I just haven't assigned a lot of, um, what are those called again? What are they called, good sir? 
Professions. I haven't assigned any professions to a lot of these guys yet, so you'll see a lot of blank villagers. I've just been breeding them to get the village continuing. So there's cats spawning. We've got, I think, three golems? Three golems in the village? I'm not quite sure, but cute nonetheless. Um, but really, there's there's not a whole lot to this village right now. I just think it's very cute, and I'm proud of myself for curing three different villagers and bringing this back to life after my brother destroyed it in a raid. But here's the thing. My main reason for coming over in this direction is because Chloe's area is directly past here. Like literally directly past here, as you could see with the bridge. <laughs> so all you have to do, <gasps> she even made a path. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It literally links, I did not plan, I had no idea. She even linked it up to the village. This is perfect. So let's go ahead and follow the path. <gasps> this is gonna be so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, we come up here. Wow, look at this fancy bridge. It's so cute, There's so many different blocks too. I don't use the chiseled stone a whole lot. I like it, and she's got acacia on the top. It's neat. And she lives in a birch forest. I've never lived in a birch forest before, so it's really exciting. That is a creeper hole. We're gonna pretend we, oh my. I really hope these aren't all creeper holes and it's just a biome. <laughs> uh, I might need to help her clean up sometime if need be. Oh, wow. It looks really pretty with shaders on. <gasps> oh, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. So first of all, this is what we saw being built in that first episode with Chloe. <gasps> she has a kitty. She has a kitty. Oh, her house is so cute and quaint. She's got a little bed. Oh, some chests. I love it. It looks so pretty on the outside too. The little leaves on the bottom. Precious, precious, precious. I don't know if she's built anything in the area around it. Cause I literally, I literally have no idea what she's built in this area, but she's got a nice big bridge. A little farm going. What's up here? Is she gonna be building something? She's got a cave. I'm assuming this goes to- <gasps> Her mind, her mind, her mind, her mind, her mind, her mind. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna light up the area for her a little bit. Okay. I'm really glad my Minecraft reflexes have improved recently. We're just gonna light up that far. I think that's good. Okay, so that answers my question. She definitely has a mind going there. Very cute, and I love the fancy bridge, and it totally, totally matches like my kind of theme of bridges I've been doing, and I, I love that that's kind of spanned across the realm. It's really cute. She has such a cute little area. And a little water, okay, it's kind of hard to tell with shaders on, but that's a waterfall, and that is a lava fall. You can very clearly see the lava fall, but that is a waterfall right there. <laughs> it's really cool that she, she found that right next to each other. But yeah, I think, let me just, let me just think back real quick. We looked at Andrea's, we looked at Sammy's, we looked at my mom's and my brother and my dad's. We looked at Chloe's, we looked at Maggie's. Did I say Sammy's already? We looked at Abby's. We looked at my area. Is that everyone? I think that's the entire tour. I think, I think we have officially done it. If I forgot anything, and I and somehow you guys remember and not me please please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you want to see more in depth also let me know but um I'll definitely do more of these in the future because obviously we're gonna keep building on this realm for who knows how long I don't know when the caves and cliffs update is supposed to come out that's the only time I can think of us stopping and restarting the world but honestly We've only been getting snapshots. I don't know when that is supposed to come out. And I'll probably still keep this world anyways. And so, point is, is I'm on basically every day. My dad is on every day. My, a lot of these people are on all the time. So we're adding stuff all the time. And so, I can assure you guys, there probably won't be this big of a tour for a fat minute, but we will definitely do updates very soon and you can expect it to keep changing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a fun time just because I haven't seen a lot of this world and I haven't looked super in depth and I haven't just roamed around in shaders. I've only seen my area sort of in shaders and it was really cool to just see everything in a different, in a different point of view, I guess. <laughs> but
But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it even though it was a lot more mellow than usual. Um, I'm gonna do some more building and hopefully I can hang out with some more friends soon. But I have finals coming up so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to play for a second. But then it's winter break and we can, we're gonna, I have some good plans. I have some really good plans. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I, I appreciate you guys so much and I really appreciate the support you guys leave for this series. Um, and so thank you all very much. And I love you all. I love you all so much. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Peace out, homies. <laughs>